In this video, I'm going to be talking about the seven things that successful life insurance agents do daily to keep their level of success as high as possible. So let's jump right in to tell you what they are. So number one is to have a plan of action. So let's talk a little bit about this. So the most successful life insurance agents every single day have a plan of action of what to do in order to sustain their success. Good plans of action call for the following. How many leads are you going to work in a day? How many calls are you going to make during a day? What is your goal when it comes to making and giving presentations? Which carriers are you going to select to sell? And where are you going to improve upon where maybe there are some weaknesses? Here's the point. You can't wake up every single day and expect to be successful if you don't have a plan to get you there. Number two on the list, and this is very important, you must clear the calculator. The best thing you can do as a successful life insurance agent is to develop short-term amnesia. In other words, you don't want yesterday's troubles, deals that weren't closed, and people who may have disrespected you impact how you're going to perform the following day. You wanna develop this mindset where you wake up excited, ready to do your best, while not letting yesterday's troubles give you any concern. Because remember, what happened yesterday has no bearing on what happens today. So the better you are at clearing the calculator and being excited about what's coming down the pike, the better off you're gonna be at continuing to be successful. Number three on the list here is inputs over outputs. So what are inputs? Inputs are the actions that you take to get the outputs. And in the life insurance game, the inputs are your calls, your dials, your door knocks, and your outputs are the policies that you closed. Now, the truth is we're all concerned about the policies that we close because that's gonna tell us how much money we're going to make. But understand that your outputs are always a derivative of your inputs. In other words, what you need to be concerned about most is how can you daily achieve your inputs every single day because the sum of the inputs is what gives you the kind of outputs that you want. So to apply this to the real world, what do you need to do? Come up with an action plan of how many dials and calls you're going to make each day. Be committed to that action plan. Do not end the day until you hit that number because it's hitting that number on a daily basis that adds up to your annual big time goals. Number four on the list is to physically train. Now this comes from somebody who's had a lifetime worth of weight struggles. The life insurance sales business most likely is going to require you to sit on your butt, either in your car driving to somebody's house to continue to sit on your butt to then sell policies, or it's going to require you to sit at home on your butt to sell policies over the phone. Either way, the act of selling life insurance doesn't require a lot of physical energy. And if you're not intentional, with physical training of your body through exercise, you're likely going to end up gaining weight, developing health problems, and if you're very successful in this business, not living long enough to enjoy the fruits of your labor. The truth is we have to couple this with the requirements of working a position that requires all of our effort and all of our energy. So my advice is a couple of things. Number one, work out first thing in the morning before you leave. Number two, give yourself 30 minutes of some kind of moderately intensive exercise to do. I'm a big believer in weight training. You can also consider high intensity interval training in order to get the most bang for your buck. And number three, do this three to five times a week. You physically training yourself is gonna help keep your mental state as powerful as it can be while also preserving your health so you can enjoy the long-term fruits of your labor that you're doing right now. Number five on the list is prepare for the worst. Most of you watching this are probably newer to the life insurance business and you've probably seen my videos and other videos purporting to tell you how wonderful it is and how much money you can make selling life insurance. And while that is true, that doesn't mean that you as an agent being successful are going to avoid the hard knocks of the life insurance business. You will have people cuss you out. You will have people hang up on you. You will have people cancel their plan after promising that they're gonna keep it until they die. And all of this is going to take a mental toll on any normal human being. So I think one thing that can help is to basically remind yourself that all businesses have good things about them and bad. 
A successful agent understands that bad things still happen to successful agents. People cancel their plans or cancel appointments or don't pick up the phone. And preparing yourself for the worst allows you to be prepared for the bad things so you don't lose your composure and then fall short of your daily goals. Number six, think long term. So thinking from the long term is one of the biggest differentiating factors that allows agents to be more successful than those who are more in the short term. The truth is, is that the success that you will see in this business is the culmination of daily activities. But if you look down to each day, you can see some wide variation in outputs. Some days you may sell a lot of policies. Many days you may sell little. But it's over the long haul, week to week, month to month, quarter to quarter, year to year, that a lot of that randomness that goes on day to day gets measured out by a consistent, predictable amount of business that you get to see. So what's the moral of the story? Don't let the things that bother you daily get in the way of your long-term goals. Take it on the chin. Every single agent has bad days, even bad weeks. Commit yourself to thinking long-term about what happens month to month and longer. And I promise you that if you think that way, your mental state will remain more stable and you'll see the success that you need to see. Last point, tip number seven here, very, very important that you listen to this. Make sure that you see the people. With all that you're required to do to be successful selling life insurance, please don't forget that the moral of the story of what we're doing is to help families and people get peace of mind with life insurance coverage. If you get mired down in administrative work or allow yourself to get distracted through the day from what your work is, chances are you're going to lose perspective on what's most important and then not begin to see the outputs that you want because the inputs simply aren't there. So commit every single day to see the people, whether it's over the phone or in person, this is how you make a success of yourself, not just one day selling life insurance, but your entire career. What do you think about this video? Did you get some value out of this? If so, please leave a comment below. And if you're interested in learning more about my agency, The Dig Agency, where we recruit agents to become top producers selling final expense over the phone or in person and provide free leads, go to davidufour.com to learn more.